Hey guys, it's Autumn here, and welcome back to another sketchbook tour. Today we are looking through sketchbook number three? Number two? I think it's number two. Yeah, number two. Sketchbook number two. Um, so this is a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook. It has 60 pages in it, I think. 60 sheets? 60, yeah, 60 sheets of paper in this one. Uh, it's the, what is, I don't know what series this is. I don't remember. It's, it's it's the green one. I like these ones. These ones are nice. They're a good size. They're nice paper. Um, I'm going to Semper Fi sticker on here. Um, because Semper Fi, guys. Um, the only qualm I think I had with this entire sketchbook was that this started to fall off. So let's move into looking at stuff. So this is the first page. I designed this on April 18th when I started the sketchbook. Um, it's nothing crazy, just a sketchbook number two uh, when I started it and when I finished it, which was August 16th, the day before my brother's birthday. Um, I just kind of got this little sketch here and then this says five months because that's how long it took me to fill this, which is the shortest amount of time that I've ever filled a sketchbook. This first page is a bit of a cop out. It's just kind of sketch stuff and trying things. Somebody had a uniball error and I was playing with it. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to draw eyes. I'm still very fond of the way this looks, but I'm not super confident at that. Uh, this was a video, actually. This is the purple shimmer ink stuff that wasn't actually shiny. It just was purple ink, which was really pretty. Uh, which is from April. April 21st. Uh, these were ideas. Um, I was working on a project in my art class, so I sketched a girl who kind of looked like she was hiking. Um, this is from World in a Bottle theme, and I was trying to draw bottles and things. This is more of that. I was thinking, well, I could do like a tiny fairy house in a bottle or um, that kind of thing. And I was trying to design a character. I don't love how any of these turned out, but I'm not opposed to the way that this kind of looks. I think it's very pretty. And I like this flower design. Uh, this is from April 27th. This is from our... May, May? I didn't write it on here. Oh, I did, it's May. It is from the May postcard. This is a bit blown out. Let's see if I can fix this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the postcard design from May. Uh, if you saw that video, you remember. Um, I'll link my postcard series uh, in the card below, I think. <laughs> okay, so flip it around. Go. Uh, so these were more like concepty things, trying to figure out what I wanted to draw. Uh, this is like a humanized Midna from uh, Twilight Princess, couldn't think of it. Uh, this was an idea for Ashlyn, Snow White's house, just doodles, uh, random crazy scrawlings and weird doodles. Uh, this is from April 30th. This is the color swatching from my limited color challenge. The paper doesn't love to take watercolor if you're looking into getting the sketchbook, but it's not bad. Um, so these are my Grumbacher colors and my Winsor Newton colors, uh, and that's it. I don't think I'd had any of my other paints yet at this point, and just some doodling. Oh, oh, it's such a lovely page. These are my Prismacolor swatches. You can't even get them all on camera. Here we go. These are all of the swatches for my 48 Prismacolor set. If you haven't seen my Prismacolor video, I will also put that in the iCard. But uh, I got those on May 18th. This was for my Seasons collab. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend go seeing it. But these are the thumbnails that I did and the base sketch. I don't love this though. It's not pretty. I did this on June 11th. Um, you'll notice there's quite a time gap between this and this. I think I was just kind of working on other things at this point and not super focused on this. Uh, this is my limited color challenge. I'm going to kind of quickly skip over this one. 
because if you haven't seen it, it's a video. Uh, and I did this one on May 21st. Oh, yay. Dragons. So, I have about seven different dragons in this sketchbook. Um, I did a mural for my English teacher of, because it's my senior year, it was my senior year, so seniors get to pick to paint a mural, I guess, or you can offer your services to a teacher. So, I offered to paint a mural, and we had read Beowulf, Hamlet, and Canterbury Tales, as long as I'm not forgetting anything in that, in class. So, she offered she offered up space in her room was like yes can you do a mural for me i was like uh sure what would you what, what are you thinking and she's like oh well something that builds on the themes that you learn in class and those kinds of things it's like okay so a dragon and hamlet fighting each other being friends something of that nature so from may 23rd on i drew dragons this isn't a bad one i enjoy the facial facial proportions of this one body proportions aren't great the wings probably could be a bit taller um this is another one where i enjoy the face i was messing around with the way that the neck kind of plays because dragon necks are weird and i enjoy the wing shape on this one much more but the feet are weird and i don't like them uh i was more conceptualizing what i wanted and working towards what i wanted it to look like in the end and then we get to the concept sketches that I actually gave her to pick from. So this was one where it's, this is supposed to be like Hamlet. He should have been smaller, I think, but. Um, so the dragon is just kind of like looking at him like, what you doing, bruh? Uh, has smoke coming from his nose. I enjoy the face and everything about this one. I really like this one. Um, and it's just kind of like a curious, but not like super angry dragon sort of thing and his wings are kind of tucked down and he, he kind of on edge from the way that these are supposed to be and then this ooh, I hit the camera with the paper oh, no. and then this was another attempt at conceptualizing uh, this was on the 25th so I kind of drew dragons for like two three days and just kind of practice and practice and practice and practiced to get better at it um, I drew them on everything. I got to what I wanted. I don't like this. He was supposed to be flying and it was weird and I didn't like it. And then this is the second concept sketch where we've got more of what I was going for. Oh, I, had, I forgot a story. I forgot a story that we read in class. Um, Satan Snake. Oh God, what was the name of it? Um, it's gonna hurt me now. Oh, I don't remember. I, I'll put it on screen. I, I don't I don't remember what the story was called. Um, but that's why there's a snake. There's pages from like the Canterbury Tales, and there's a vial of poison from Hamlet, and a skull from Hamlet, and Hamlet with the sword and shield, and the dragon, and he's like roaring green dragon. Best description. Um, she went with this. I'll put the final image on screen here. And then we have just kind of sketchy stuff. So I got my Prismacolor Premier Fineliners, which I think I've shown. I don't, I don't know, but this was me playing around with them. So my friend Daisy wrote this. She was playing with it. If you haven't seen her channel, I will also put that in the iCard. Uh, no sex intended is the best. I am not legally obligated to say that, but I do it anyways. Um, so this is a picture I did for Kayla, although it doesn't really look like her. I wish I probably could do better. And then I did one of Daisy, which also could be better. Her face isn't perfect and the glasses are a bit wonky, but not bad for just kind of quick sketches that I did while Daisy was live streaming. And so I feel bad that I wasted this face, but it's okay. Um, this was a sketch that I did of our lake that is close to our house. I didn't date this, which makes me sad. I didn't even date it on the back, I don't think. Um, but I have another one. I think I did a video in my tiny sketchbook of something like this because I don't think I did the big sketchbook. But yeah, so I like to go down and just kind of mess with it. it. I'll never really make the lake look like the lake, but I will try my darndest. Uh, we have the sketch for the June postcard, which I drew on May 29th. So 
the drawings prior are in between May 25th and May 29th, so it's not a super long period of time. Um, so again, it's in the postcard pay playlist if you want to see it. Um, so here is a, another dragon concept. I love this one. I love the way it came out and I almost wanted to turn him into a painting. I still may because I love the way these claws look and the hands and it's just, it's a very good concept sketch and I love it. It's from May 30th and then I made a list of the items that I wanted. So there's skull, a vial from Hamlet, poem pages from the sonnets that we read, a mead horn, a shield, and a sword from Beowulf, and a cross and a barrel from Canterbury Tales. I didn't actually do all of this, but that is what they say. Oh, this is my first Prismacolor video, which is from June 1st when I colored it. I don't like these facial proportions. I, I did this before my cataract surgery and I can see where I went wrong. I am so sorry. Um, it's not awful, but it's just it weird and why, Autumn, why do you do the things that you do? Oh, and then this was concept sketching for um, my commission, one of my commissions that I did. Uh, this is for the Sunflower Girl, but blue background as I called it. Um, this is the actual finished concept sketch that I showed her. Um, this is the Quinn Magenta, because this is when I got this. Um, I don't know when I drew this, but uh, the idea is the sunflower goes here and this, and there's a video on it if you want to see it. Um, then I have this, which is Carrie J did a... Miss Carrie J, that's it. That's why it sounded wrong. Miss Carrie J did a video on her faces and how she does them, and I kind of tried it out, and I genuinely like the style, but I just I couldn't get my facial proportions to look like what I wanted them to, and I like the way this hair came out, and I kind of wish I would try this again. I don't know when I drew this, I didn't date it. Okay, so we've got rambles. If you want to read it, pause the video, but other than that, we will continue on. So this is the Daisy piece that I did. Um, there's also a video on this. It was another commission, and yeah, and then there's more mad ramblings at the bottom because it was one of those days. Oh, yep, okay, so we have stuff that's gonna make me sad because it's from the end of the year. Um, this is the Picasso Award. So my math teacher is one of the greatest human beings ever, and she dealt with me for three years straight in being the worst possible math student ever. And when I didn't know what I was doing, I would draw or I would come up with these long, ridiculous excuses as to what the answer of the problem probably is, but I don't know for certain, so this is my answer. And she gave me this award at the end of the year on my last day of class. It's the Picasso Award for being artistic uh -huh. and turning anything into a piece of art. Because the first year that I was with her, I drew on all of my tests to help me focus. Um, I love this drawing on the top here. Uh, I'll talk about the sticky note in a minute, but I, I really love this, but I was super anxious when I drew it, which is why I like it so much, because it kind of represents how I feel when I get anxious. I feel like the water is rising and it's getting closer and closer, and it's just kind of like, you can't handle it. So um, I drew this on the 7th. This is getting towards the end of the school year, so I kept getting more and more anxious for apparently no reason and I finally figured out what the issue was so yeah, I'm, I'm all good uh, and this is a sticky note that says my name um, it says you are such a beautiful soul you are you're smart a fantastic artist and just a wonderful person and this was in my locker every day for senior year because it made me happy um, so finally we have the final sketch for the freaking uh, collab that I did um, my eyes got really oh i drew eyes really big i was trying to make them smaller so they didn't look so strangely proportioned but yeah this is this art's strange i like the past drawing but this one's like it's weird it, i did this one on june 13th uh this is from the 16th um no there's not drawings on the back of this i thought there was maybe it's on 
Where did I put it? Okay, well, whatever. When I find it, I find it. But um, Detroit Become Human had just come out, and I watched the worst. If you don't know what it is, spoilers, but they end up just deactivated and sad and in a dump, and it's depressing, and I don't like it. Um, so I just kind of doodled and tried to get the sadness out of my system, and it didn't work. So this was from the 16th. Um, we have, I tried to draw, draw Alice, which it wasn't awful. It didn't come out great. Feet, I, I, feet are so hard to draw. I'm actually working on that right now. Um, this was like the, the indicator thing. And then this is the mermaid from that one mermaid drawing that I did. I don't know which one that is. I don't think I have it in here either. So I don't know which one. This is also from the 17th. So I guess I did kind of get over it. Um, I tried to practice some male profile studies. His face is really long, his face is angled weirdly, and I like his. They're all kind of roughly based on Kamsky from Detroit, unintentionally, but the long hair helped cover up the back of the head issues I was having. So, I did this on the 19th. Oh, oh, this is, this is rough. I was practicing male, male, male proportions so I could draw Connor, and this is what happened. It's also from the 19th and it makes me sad some days i just draw too much oh we've got it we got another sad one for trying to draw connor also from the 19th the, what what is this what is this help help and then we've got the double spread so i drew i practiced drawing these okay so these i'm, I'm going to explain this if you haven't seen psych psych is an amazing show and you should watch it but sean Sean Spencer pretends to be a psychic detective and does this kind of weird I don't even know if I can do it sideways but it's like this to his forehead or to his temple and he says he's a psychic. Connor does a thing where he places his two fingers to his thing like this to analyze stuff and I was like oh my gosh they're the best detectives that feel the need to touch their fingers to their head to analyze things and it's wonderful so I was going to draw Sean and then I didn't because I didn't want to mess it up and then I kind of drew Connor, but I didn't love it. So that's that. I was practicing. Uh, I was practicing for quarter view because it's been a while since I've drawn it. It still has been a very long time since I've practiced it. This is from the 24th and this is from the 25th. I just kind of split the page to practice. I think they're both pretty good. I feel like the bodies are a little wide, but other than that, it's not awful. So I never drew the other side of her. Um, I have an eye doodle. I forgot about that. And then we have some more doodly doos. I was sitting in my bed and this angle is so terrible. Um, this is also angled pretty rough, but it's not bad. This one's from the 28th. I don't mind this. It's a little strange. And I love this one for whatever reason. I think she's just very pretty. She's from the 26th. Um. Oh, is it hair? Is it a hat? The world may never know. But, you know, uh, just another, like, basic profile to study. Her neck is too thick. What is this thick neck thing that I have going on in this part of my sketchbook? Um, this is also from the 28th. Oh, there we go. There he is. I drew, I drew my boy. The, the android sent by Zyrolife. His neck is also thick. That answers my issue with him. Um, it's been a very long time since I've looked at these critically, so it's nice to see. I probably should have shrunk the neck just a smidgen into here. Um, this was also on the 28th, and then this is on July 3rd, so not bad, time-wise, just took a break. Um, and I just kind of was practicing things. Her neck is a square, and I don't like it. Oh, still this way. We have the July postcard, which is very bland. I do apologize for how bland this video was, and this isn't a sausage, it's a boil. <laughs> um... This one I drew in the first. I don't know why I skipped around on pages. That's weird. Um, I was drawing a thing for Daisy for her birthday, for her graduation or something like that. I don't remember which one. Probably graduation because of the date. Um, I drew this one on the fourth and I was, I kept this part, the Daisy swirliness and then the notes underneath it. 
that I dropped the violin because I couldn't draw a violin to save my life. And then we move into more recent videos, actually. This isn't that long ago. This is just barely before my cataract surgery. This is from the 8th. And it's uh, one of my Pinterest drawing series again video in the card. Um, another Pinterest one. This one I really, really like. I still love the way that the, fi the final one turned out. It's gorgeous. This one is from the 9th. And I have Hamilton quotes because apparently I was nervous again because I'm good at that. It says, We may not, ugh, I'm gonna have to try not to say this. We may not yet have reached our glory, but I will gladly join the fight. Uh, and it's the second one in the series. And then we have the roughest of the rough my first drawing after I got back from surgery. So um, it's the 13th, which is the day that I got my surgery done because I'm insane and apparently needed to draw right after I was done. Um, and then I made it out here that I should draw my eyes then the glasses because they're, they're too far apart and it's weird and it's wonky. Um, I tried to draw a side profile and it was not working. This is the next day so I'm like slowly working my way up into drawing full things again. The hair is interesting but this is just, she doesn't have a chin and it, this isn't the correct proportions so. I can see what's wrong with it, it's just I couldn't fix it at the time. Then we have the same day, by some miracle, if you draw big enough, you can get proportions correct. <laughs> this is one of the biggest Pinterest pieces that I did, um, at least sketch-wise it's big. It's the same size paper as the other ones, it's just huge, and instead of doing like the um, like the torso shots that I was doing, I did the neck up because I was like, nope, that's it, we're done, we're doing this. So this is the same day, so I just did my normal flat forward. And I think I went in and I touched certain things up so I could t see the depth of it more because I was having a hard time with that. So that's what this is. Oh, I love my, my, my note on some of these pages that I just didn't bother. I was trying to draw like the, the pose where you're like uh, this. Kind of like that? Yeah, okay. Uh, and I wrote ah hands because hands are impossible. How does one? Um, I don't have a date on that. Sorry, I did not mean to hit the camera again. Uh, this is from the 19th. I took a bit of, bit of a break because I was having a hard time. The eyes on this are enormous and they should probably be down a bit further. Although I feel if they were smaller, they would fit better. So again, very recently after surgery. So I kind of give myself a break. And then we move back into the cartoony era of things. I practiced this a bit because I really, really missed this. I did a live stream. I don't live stream very often. I'd like to start it as soon as college starts. But um, I painted her, I think. Um, yeah, so I, I like the way she came out. And then I was practicing. I was trying to figure out how I drew stuff like this and then kind of reworked it into the way that I like more now. Um, and then I have this one. She was supposed to be really cute, and then she turned out looking really evil. So she looks like a supervillain. This is from the 22nd of July. So she's not bad. She's just evil looking, and I don't know why I do these things. Oh, this is this is where I started to run out of space in the sketchbook, and I couldn't buy a new one yet. So this is the August postcard that I drew on the 25th. So after I did this one, for whatever reason, I drew it here. I think I was out of almost out of room so I wanted to save pages um this is from the 24th um the neck is again a square so I think for whatever reason I thought that yeah, that is how you draw a neck and then I kind of I moved away from it I figured it out again so I'll show this I haven't gotten far into doing this yet but I want to make a new icon for myself um Maddie has made all of my previous icons and I appreciate her help and I appreciate the hard work she's put into it in every single one. But I feel it's time as an artist that I learn enough digital art to make my own icon. So I've actually, I just recently got an iPad. If I can find it on my bookshelf. Don't fall over the board, don't do it. Okay, we're grabbing the board and it's coming with us for whatever reason today. 
So I got an iPad and an Apple Pencil. This is the sixth generation, so it works with the Apple Pencil. And I also love this case. I found it on Amazon, by the way. It's Star Starry Night, which is my favorite painting of all time, which is the most cliche artist thing to ever say. But I am working on a video on this, which should be coming out right after this one, because I have all the files for this one together, as long as I wasn't too lazy to edit it. Um, so, soon. I will have a video on this soon. Um, I was trying to draw a human skeleton. I gave up on it. It was boring and I was tired. Um, these are microns. I got all of my brother's microns because he doesn't use them anymore and just kind of swatched them to see what was working and what wasn't working. Uh, this is the large sweater drawing that I did. Uh, it's another Pinterest one. There's a lot of little notes here. I'm kind of going to cover this because it's personal personal things. Um, this was August 1st and yeah. The lady who I was drawing from this for this reference was really gorgeous and I didn't do her justice at all. But I like the sand. The sand makes me happy. Looking back at, the, back at this, I realize this looks like me. Like it, minus glasses, which makes me sad because this would have been a really cute character profile. Uh, this was just a character design sesh that I did because I was bored and I practiced hands again. See, a lot of these more recent drawings have hands. Uh, this is from August 3rd. Oh, oh, we have, okay, this is one of my favorites, so we'll wait on this. But uh, this is the color pencil piece. You'll see I have pastel and larger paper kind of written at the top here. I wanted to do a pastel piece and on a bigger piece of paper, but it just didn't work out that way. I may go back and do it again because the colored pencil piece did not look great. Uh, this is from the sixth. And then we have my favorite piece of the entirety of the sketchbook. Um, this is just a piece of tracer paper and I have it over top so it doesn't smudge this and it doesn't smudge in general. This is a dress from Pinterest that I drew on the 4th of August and then colored the day after because I was tired and I just wanted something artsy to do and kind of mindless. So I colored this in and it is by far one of my favorite things I've ever done in colored pencil. And it's funny because I did it before I did this one and I kind of wish I had filmed this when I did it because it would have been so much better of a showing of, yes, I know how to use colored pencils. I'm not crazy and terrible at it but I still need practice in some ways and it's just it's beautiful and I love this one um so we'll skip past this one again so I almost did the draw this in your style challenge while well, it was super popular and I just I couldn't I didn't feel any of the drawings I was doing I was trying and it was just like no you're forcing yourself so you're nothing's gonna come out the way you want it to so I did tag the people here whose drawings I did um, and I did this on the 7th. Voice crack there. My voice is getting tired from recording I think. Um, so this is from the underwater discord thing. Um, this actually makes an appearance in the iPad video I'm going to be editing soon hopefully. I kind of turned her into a full illustration because I loved her so much. Um, and then I kind of I was sketching things and trying to practice and see what I could make. You'll notice as this gets farther in, I do more studies and trying to figure out how I draw things to include it. Um, and then we have the final like illustration-y version. It's obviously way bigger than this. It's a huge painting, um, but I really, really love this. It's a palindrome. Oh, the number here is a palindrome. It's 81018, so it's 81018 backwards. It's lovely and I love them. And I think there's a different word for numbers, but I, I thought of palindrome immediately. So, yeah, so just a mermaid and palindromes, I guess. Um, and hands again. So this is the, uh, another Pinterest one that is, I love this, I love this piece. It is my favorite Pinterest piece that I've done so far. I love her, she's so adorable. I did her on the 12th and if you wanna see it, the Pinterest playlist is up there. Um, I doodled with some ballpoint, ballpoint pen because I was bored. These are shapes that I tend to doodle a lot because they're just kind of swirly and I like them. Um, I tried to draw some hands because I was not feeling drawing people. I doodled an eye, which isn't awful and not great, obviously, for a doodle eye. A uh, fish, a star, and a face. I was kind of chopping this up into circular bits to show I don't know what that I was doing it. 
And I finally got a doodle face and I was happy about it because I just was having a bad day. Uh, this was August 13th. This is the 15th, so we're getting close to the end of this sketchbook finally. It took a very long time to get there, but we're getting there. So this is just like a concept of something that I'd like to revisit in the future. Kind of contemplating what the story is, what it's about, what's going on here, but I, I like the style of this. I think it'll look cute when I get there. Ah, uh, we have my boy. We have my boy, Jack McBrien, aka Retribution. His video will, oh, oh no, his video won't have come out by this point, I don't think. Maybe it will. I think it's supposed to come out before the sketchbook tour. If not, then sh you don't see him. But if you have seen it, then yes, look at him. He's adorable. He, isn't he? I love him. He's my favorite character that I've ever created, and I've created quite a few characters. If you've seen my last sketchbook tour, you know that. But he, he's my favorite. Look at him. He's so cute. I want to draw him more. I'm going to draw him more in my new sketchbook. Um... So this is just me at rambling in pencil about who he is, what he is. He's left-handed, everything about him. And then I, I, if you saw the video, I did go back and I drew the wedding ring on the necklace because that made sense. But yeah, so this was done on the 16th. This is the last drawing technically, but it's not the last page. I thought one more page and it's all stuck because the splashy tape is sticky for whatever reason. And we have the Crayola um piece in here so cool story to tell you guys so craftastic commented on this video um this is going to sound either like i am oblivious to the world or uh pretentious but i am usually just oblivious to the world i didn't know who oh so who so craftastic was um before i made this video and when she commented, I went, I was like, oh, that's awesome. I wonder who this person is. I haven't seen them here before. And they said they came from the Discord. I went and I kind of died when I realized that she was a really big YouTuber who took the time to look at my video and watch it. So um, if she happens to see this video, thank you. You really made my day. I really appreciated that. Thank you. Um, but I love this piece. This was made on the 11th. So not the last piece technically, but it's fun. And then on the back of this, Crayola swatches. Look at it. Ah, Crayola swatches. It's beautiful. If she happens to see this video, thank you. You really made my day. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but I love this piece. This was made on the 11th, so not the last piece, technically. And then on the back of this, Crayola swatches. Look at it. Ah. But it was... Oh gosh, it took me so long to fill this one. Um, the video should have come out before this one. But this is my next sketchbook that I'm working on. It is a, it is a Denik sketchbook. It is mixed media, really pretty. Um, there are information's on the back of this if you wanna check it out. And yeah, it's a neat sketchbook. I have no idea how many pages. I took the thing off and I didn't look at how many are supposed to be in here. And I've got like things in here. Um, paints that I probably should look at buying before I forget about it, um, and just tests to see what works well on this. I'll give you a fair warning though if you do get one of these sketchbooks. Um, markers bleed. They bleed bad. But colored pencils look fantastic. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone! Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there, and if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching, and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!